Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and I am now a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari and maybe thread up if you see my video from yesterday. I went to the bins Wednesday. If anybody doesn't know, bins is the Goodwill outlet where you buy things by the pound. Um, I go to the Salt Lake City, Utah outlet because that's where I live and I usually find a couple of things that will pay for the whole entire trip and then everything else is just bread and butter. I'm not expecting to make $50, $60 on every single item. But at the bins where I go, I always get over 25 pounds and when you do, it's $1.49 a pound. And today is my first ever outlet haul, outlet, look, Goodwill outlet haul for you guys. I spent $70 and I haven't added up how many items I got yet. I got one full bag of clothes to try to send in, try to send into Thread Up. I did that haul in my video from yesterday. If you guys want to go back and see that. And the rest of it is what I picked up for me to resell. I do have a whole entire bag down here of nothing but kids clothes, which I, I don't usually ever pick up kids clothes. But I figured I would give it a shot this time since summer's coming up. There's swimsuits and jeans and you'll see. I'll try to, I'm going to try and sell that kind of stuff, see if it's worth it for me to start picking up some kids clothes if they're in really good condition and a, you know, decent brand or a decent style and kind of go from there. So let's see, where do we want to start? Okay, well, I'm going to start with the big stuff because it's all like right here around me just to get it out of the way. And let's see, so this right here is a very pretty like sun hat and normally I don't pick up sun hats or any kind of hats unless they have a brand or something like that and this one when I looked at it it's that brand what's that say Milani designed in Italy I've learned that if stuff says it's designed in Italy made in Italy made with like Italian or Italy you know wool it's usually expensive and at least you know, you need to look it up and see. I looked up on eBay and this isn't going to be a fast seller. I'm hoping with the summer and spring time here coming up soon it will sell. Um, probably between $20 and $30 for this. And then next up, I got a pair of Sorel Caribou uh, boots really good condition on the bottom and I don't even know what sizes are I didn't look this is K on the bottom I'm thinking these are women's but I'm not sure I'll have to look more into them um, I did look on eBay and these will probably go for anywhere between 40 and 60 I'm um, just kind of depending I'm thinking with it winter being close to the end I'll price them for the more closer to the 40 end all right this big thing I don't normally like my bin has bins, and around the edges of the wall are books, shoes, hard goods, and then in the middle of the room is all the bins of like all the clothes. And then against the one wall, they have nothing but um, like suitcases, uh, hair things, things for the kitchen appliances, all those bigger items. And I don't normally ever check there, but yesterday or Wednesday I did, and I found this. This is a piece of luggage. It's Toomey, which is a very high-end, very expensive brand of luggage. I'm going to check the wheels. They work really, really well. And then the handle worked really good. It is in rough shape. It is definitely seen in its better days. But the ones that were in mediocre shape that I saw on there that had a few flaws, a few like scratches around the edges, or whatever we're still going for over a hundred dollars so I'm hoping to be able to get about 50 for that one if I can all right now we're gonna move on to the men's clothes it's, it's this. now these are in a little bit of worse shape than I would normally pick up but they're still for the shoes they're still really good these are some men's dress shoes they do have like a few scuffs along the front but these are Allen Edmonds 
so they are you know I could probably get about thirty dollars for these if they're in decent condition I could probably get closer to the seventy or eighty dollar mark for these I've sold a couple pairs of Allen Edmonds for around that range around the seventy dollar mark Alright, let's see. Then I got this. Nike Montana. I think it's a 2XL. Big, huge, giant. Uh, I'm not sure if you would call this like a jacket, if it's a shirt that goes over clothes. But yeah, it's a 2XL. Nike Team Apparel. Montana. Hopefully, it'll sell. And I got a pair of men's Levi's jeans. They're 505. What are these? Oh no, these are boys' jeans. 14 Husky. They're in pretty good condition. I think most of what I've got left in here, or a lot of the jeans, are boys. I was hoping these would be like you know similar sizes so I could lot them, but. They weren't really it's no Levi's. This is a 16 regular light wash. And I mean, these are a pair of men's. Oh yeah, look these up. These are about thirty dollars used. They're the men's Wranglers Cool Vantage jeans, and they're in really really good condition. I got this Marmot, I think that's how you say it, Marmot large kind of plaid button down shirt. Yeah, I didn't look these up. <clears throat> I don't care if I only get 10 bucks for them. I couldn't leave them at the bend. For being white, cream colored in the bend, in the bins, they were like in really super good condition. No stains on them, no marks, no nothing. And they're these. Lee dungaree shorts, but they I mean they're like really super thin. It's almost like you'd wear them when you're going swimming or something like that. They dry really super fast. So for your summer coming up, those will be really good. Hopefully. Here's another pair of men's Levi's size. Uh, 3630. Um, let's see. Since I haven't really done a haul haul video before, I mean, I've done like the thread up videos. But, like, as always, if you ever see anything in any of these videos that you like or that you want, I'll give you a great deal on them. Um, if I don't have to list them, I'll just PayPal you and pay for shipping, and they're all yours. Let's see, now I've never bought a suit before. I've never bought a suit coat. I've never wanted to delve into that. But gotta try new things once in a while. And this here is a nice black or yeah it's black suit coat jacket. And it is made of Italian fabric. And it's a Banana Republic size 40 s oh and then I got these if anybody knows anything about these I'd appreciate some info um, they look like they sold they sold fairly decent they're Vibram the five toe like water shoes they're in pretty good condition I mean they're not perfect um, but I have no idea to tell how to tell if these are men's, if these are women's, or whatever. But they look like they go for about thirty dollars. So that's all my men's stuff. And then here's some of my women's stuff. Now this I've heard. I don't. I'm not a girly girl, as you can tell. I don't wear fashionable clothes. I don't know all the brands. I'm trying to learn. Um, this one here is Moth. 
size medium large it's just like a nice like poncho sort of gray uh, cardigan and I looked at this shirt it doesn't go for much but I thought it was cool so I got it it's from the uh, let's see if you can get that tagged to... there we go pink owl size small it says it's a size small there's no way this is a small if it is it's like super oversized but it's got this nice sequin embroidery on the pocket sequin embroidery on the sleeves it's like a long sleeve this cream colored t-shirt shirt I thought it looked neat so I figured I'd get it this here is a I don't know how to say this, Leisure, Leisure, size 2, it's just like a hiking short, shorts, got a little button detail on the sides, they're lightweight, most of the stuff I don't look up, some of it I do, some of it I already know, um, I'm in the thing that if I can buy something for a dollar and I can sell it for a little over 10 profit it's worth my time some people don't think it's worth their time to do that some people don't want to sell anything unless they're making 20 or 30 dollars on it and I just if I walked by a 10 dollar bill on the ground I wouldn't pass it so I'm not gonna pass it up when I go to the bins and I can buy something for a dollar and sell it for ten. So this is Mave or Mauve. I'm not sure how exactly it says it's a small. But it's like a cowl neck. Orange. Sweater? Sweatshirt? No, sweatshirt. Sweater. Yeah. Really cute. And then I got this. And I figured... If nobody wants it, I might be able to wear it myself. We'll see. I haven't tried it on yet. This is American Eagle Outfitter sweatshirt. It's really big, really heavy. And it is a size large. Then I got this. I have sold this brand multiple times. It doesn't sell for a ton. Probably about 20 bucks usually for the jackets. 20, 25. But they make really weird, different looking clothes. It's called Quaker Factory. Yeah, Quaker Factory. The size medium. But it's a hoodie. And it zips up. And it's full sequin front. And long sleeve. So and it almost looks like it's probably still new or new without tag. Because it's got this still attached to the zipper. So, it's really cute. I just saw a jean jacket from them that had embroidered uh, rhinestone butterflies all over it. And it was black and I sold that for 23 So, this, I've never heard of this brand. It's called Jack's Cabin. It's a size large, but it's really super soft. It's cute colors, gray and teal. And... It's just like a sweat, not like a sweatshirt, but it's like a jacket. And I just noticed this does have a little hole on the back. Darn it. I'll just disclose that and see what I can get for it. Now this here is, I do not I know how to say this. I'm sorry, guys. It's Isaac Mizrahi Live. Live, live size medium or large medium in the US it's in my light you won't be able to see the true color probably it was, it's green I guess you can just kind of see it on there unless it's a really super extra long open like cardigan jacket inside here is so soft so super soft but that's the reason why I picked it up because of how soft it was it was just let's see I'm trying to see if I can see what it's made out of Do, 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 do. Gotta say it on here somewhere. Nope, can't find it. 
Oh well, moving on. And then I thought of this. I know there's shoes in this brand does okay. I've never sold a cardigan or seen anything else clothes wise or whatever, but it is Steve Madden. And it's just like a metallic um, cardigan. Let's see size. Just this one size. I would say it's probably a large or would fit a large easily. And this is a White House Black Market, kind of like a lined sweater. So it's sweater material on the outside here. And it's got like t-shirt material on the inside. And then it's got like this cute little like V on the back where you can see the sweater. Actually not really a sweatshirt, it's more like a blousey material. Yeah, it says it's an extra small. But I like selling White House Black Market. It seems to do pretty good for me. And then got these. It is an OSO Casuals. Never heard of it before. Size medium. But it's a very cute zip up sweater with a hoodie with faux trim. Or faux fur trim. I guess we gotta say all the words. And it's just long sleeve. I think I said what size it was, but I'll check again. Yeah, size medium. And then we got this. I thought this was cute. It's by August Silk. It's a small. It's like a small sweater. But then it's got this in this in it's built in. It's like this little tie. And it's sort of like got the pastels or the neon. It's kind of like a scarf on the inside that ties the bottom up. And it's made out of silk, I think, right? I guess I just assumed. Since it does say it's by August Silk. Yep, 53% silk, 29% nylon. Okay, then I got this. I didn't look it up either. This is RF Raf Raffaella. It's a size large, 100% linen. Just a nice orange button up shirt. Let's see. I do get bras when I find them if they're in good condition. I don't care what brand they are for the most part. I can still sell them. They, they basically cost nothing at the, the bins. Brand is lively. It's a 34D. And then I got this. Athleta. It's like an undershirt. It's a size large. Long sleeve. Just material. I have no idea. I've heard Athleta is a good brand. I've never bought it before. I've never, never sold it. I didn't look it up. I just bought it. What the heck? And I got this. I think it's another mauve. Yeah, mauve or mave, however you guys say it, let me know. Size extra large. Inside out. Oh, come on, really? There we go. So it's just this nice deep v neck. Blouse. It's cute. And then I got this. It's like a little nighty thingy. Let's see. Let's see what brand it is. Oh, it is Victoria's Secret. And it is a size 34C. And then I got these. DKNY jeans. They're in like brand new condition. Super nice. Wish they're my size. But they're a size 6 with 30 inseam. At least that's what the tag says. And then with summer coming up, I just figured why not? American Eagle Outfitters. 
little shorts. They're not as short as the shorts I normally find with American Eagle Outfitters, so I figured I'd pick them up. These are a size 6. I actually really like these shorts. Wish they could be. So, that is all of my women's stuff. Now, last but not least, we'll go to the kids' clothes. So, I've got this really cute little girl's dress by Paper Dolls. It's actually white. It's a size 14. Yep, remember right, 14. It's really super long, and it's got almost like a train in the back, so like a wedding dress, but for little girls, it's super adorable. If my daughter was a little bit older, a little bit bigger, I would probably give that to her. She'd probably beg me for it anyway, but no. That's more boys Levi's jeans. Size 10 Husky. Really good condition. Oh, actually, this is another woman's boss. I got thrown in the wrong bag. Let's see, we got Relativity. It's just cute. It's black. It's got like a bell sleeve. And it's got like this crochet on each sleeve and a little bit of the same crochet in the middle. And it was like the day for like boys' jeans. Here's a Calvin Klein. Oh, women's jeans too. 27, size 4. Really good condition. The ends are really good on them. Now, I sold this exact same jacket last year at Thanksgiving, or not Thanksgiving, at Halloween. So it's a Cherokee Girls 2T, sort of like a 101 Dalmatian little jacket. So I actually sold it last year at Halloween time to a woman who was dressing her daughter up as Corella DeVille. That was adorable. So I got a whole bunch of boy shorts. These are reversible boy shorts. Oh, let's see. I never could find the size on them because I have no idea where the tag is, but it's like just plain gray on the inside and then this blue plaid on the outside. And then I got a buttload of boys from trunks. All different sizes, all different kinds. Here's some Ninja Turtles. This is just like for some older boys, I believe it was like a 14. Just some red One's there for some in. Here is some Hawaiian, Hawaiian ones. Disney. Oh, actually, no, it's not Hawaiian. It's Phineas and Ferb. No, there's Ferb. Or Phineas, or no, Platypus. Plat Perry. I would get that out eventually. I've watched that show. Here is Star Wars swim trunks. And all the swim trunks are in really good condition. Almost looks like brand new. These just say by Disney, medium size. And then this really, I'll do that here in a second. We'll do all the boys some chunks at one time. Almost done, guys. So, and then we have a boys, the Hulk, some chunks by Nicolo, by, oh, just Incredible Hulk, size 8. And then we just have some more older boys, not any. Not any um, characters. And then last but not least is this little girl's children's place. Cute little American uh, dress. Super cute. Alright, that looks like everything guys. So I'm going to get all of this listed hopefully in the next week since I am now full time. And uh, See what I can make out of it. I'm going to try to sell the Sorel boots and the Chumi luggage within a week. That will make all my money back. And then I just got to wait for this stuff to sell. And if I can't sell them within a week on eBay, then I will move them to Facebook Marketplace or to, um, we have a thing around here called KSL Classifieds online, kind of like a Craigslist. I'll list them on those as well and try to get those sold within a week to make my money back. So that's kind of my goal is when I go to the bins and I spend the amount they spend, I try to get at least a couple of items that I think will sell within a week to make everything back so I can reinvest and then wait for the slower moving items to sell. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. So 
If you want to see the rest of the haul from this from this group of stuff, I did it in my thread up video from yesterday. Um, that's the stuff that I bought at the bins at the same time to just be sent in the thread up. I'm doing experiments on those to see if that's actually a viable way to make money, um, as well as eBay and Poshmark and Mercari. Um, I'm also still doing liquidation from liquidation.com from like Amazon returns. I found that there's a place here in Salt Lake that does um, pallet auctions. That I'm going to try to talk my husband into taking me to this weekend <clears throat> in his truck to try to pick those up. If I do, that video will be next week. And look forward to that. Um, please uh, like and share, subscribe, comment, you know, all the good stuff to get the video up in rank so I can try to get some more subscribers. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. If there's anything you saw in the haul that you want, let me know. I'll put my email in the um, description of the video. I'll also try to link my Poshmark and my eBay so you guys can click on those and go and see if there's anything there you like. If you do see anything in there that you like that's already listed on eBay or Poshmark, you don't have to buy them off of there. Just message me and we can work something out. Um, other than that, have a great weekend and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye!